Those restrictions will last for at least three weeks, which means they'll be in effect through Christmas. A lot to get to tonight, as you can tell already. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. We have live team coverage on this order, including how it differs from the first order back in March to how it will be enforced. Let's start with CBS 13's Renee Santos. Yeah, businesses like hair salons could have just less than 48 hours to prepare for another shutdown. We're live outside Uptown Hair Design. The personal care service industry has already been shuttered by these COVID-19 restrictions. People finances will take a hit well into Christmas. Not again. I cannot believe it. Jennifer Thomas is cutting hair for what could be one of her last few clients for the next three weeks. She's already preparing to reschedule appointments for the month of December. It will greatly affect us before Christmas. It's our busiest time of the season for hairstylists. Many businesses like hair salons will soon face another stay-at-home order. This order different from the last, based on regional hospital capacity. Falling below 15% ICU availability will trigger the latest stay-at-home order. Governor Newsom warning it could happen in 48 hours. Based on our current projections. While the stay-at-home order is divided by five regions, this is where some counties stand. In San Joaquin County, hospitalization numbers are already rising. ICU capacity today is operating at 113%, so we're definitely... Um, getting to our higher numbers that we saw over the summer. In Sacramento County, ICU bed availability is just 16%. Under the new stay-at-home order, schools that are already open for in-person learning can remain open along with critical infrastructure businesses. Retail stores may stay open, but at 20% capacity. As for restaurants, they will have to go back to takeout and delivery only. As for Jennifer, she just wants to work. All of us are essential. Anybody who makes money um, to support their family is considered essential. Now, the state says once that stay at home order is triggered, it'll last for at least three weeks. Thereafter, there will be bi weekly assessments. Yeah, what a rough time, busy time for hair salons, and you're right, it's rough.